Hey everyone, welcome to my new tutorial. Today we are going to make this cute little coffee shop illustration and I really hope you will enjoy this one and if you do, please don't forget to leave the like, it will really help me. And if you are new to the world of 3D and Blender and you want to learn in the most time efficient way, be sure to check out my courses, I carefully designed them to take you from beginner skills all the way to full character illustration in the shortest time possible, so if you are interested please check out the link in the description. Now let's jump right into empty blender file and first of all I will just select everything here, press X and delete and now let's start with the plane, so let's press shift A and we'll add a plane, tap into the edit mode, press S to scale and enter 4 to scale 4 times and confirm with enter and now let's press E to extrude this tiny bit just like this. Now I will press shift D to duplicate this plane but just release it in place by right clicking and press P and enter to separate the selection into a new object right here so we can now tab out and select that new object tab into the edit mode and this way you can easily reuse the existing geometry so you don't have to place the new geometry on specific places and now let's press ctrl R to create a loop cut and just slide it right here and now we can just duplicate this separately so press 3 for face select select this one here press P and enter and you can see we separated that into a new object so only this part here is left so we can select all by pressing A and E to extrude a tiny bit this will be like a part of the road or a sidewalk and now tab out and select this new object tab into the edit mode press A to select all and extrude now let's reuse part of this geometry as well so press 2 for edge select select this edge hold shift select the other one on the other side press shift d to duplicate right click to release in place and again we'll press p and enter to separate the selection and now we can tab out select that new object tab into the edit mode press a to select all and e and z to extrude on z axis and we'll create a railing out of this later so let's press a to select all and alt s to shrink this and we can additionally press s to enable even scaling and now hold shift for some smaller increments and just shift it inside a tiny bit like this now select the edge on the side press g twice and slide it inwards a little bit so it doesn't go all the way towards the curb and here as well and now we can tab out and just select this part right here tab into the edit mode and let's select this plane on top so press 3 for face select and select this right here and hold shift s and snap cursor to select it that will just move the cursor so now if we tab out and press shift a and add another plane it just stays on top of there and we can tab into the edit mode press s to scale it up and now scale on the x-axis as well so s then x just like this now we can tab out and move it to the side a little bit so press 7 on an unpad and just move it like here we can kind of have it off kilt a little bit it doesn't need to be centered it will add a little bit more of the visual interest to our scene now tap into the edit mode and just extrude our building to something like that now we can create some small roof detail so press shift d again to duplicate this and p enter to separate and we will do a lot of this stuff so basically it's all the same i will now tab out select that new object tab in and press a to select all and it's always the same when i'm separating the geometry from an existing object and now press e to extrude and we can alt click this loop around and press alt s to scale these long normals and additionally s for even scaling and just do a little bit of an offset like this and now we can select this top face and we can now again press shift d to duplicate this press p and enter to separate that into a new object tab out select the new object tab into the edit mode and we can now do inset so press i and do an inset like this and ctrl i to invert the selection press x and delete these faces and now we can do inset once again press x delete faces and now select all with a and just extrude this up so we have some small detail on the roof there now we can tab out and let's do the rest of the building with the windows and the door so let's tab into the edit mode and first i want to enable x-ray view right here and select the bottom face press x and delete um, we don't need it there really and it will make you know extruding things easier now so let's toggle the x-ray again and let's press ctrl r to create a loop cut here but we'll increase the number of cuts with the mouse wheel to two and just place them here right click to release in the middle and press s then x to scale them towards each other just a tiny bit like this 
and now we can press ctrl r and create a loop cut horizontally somewhere here and one on top just like that now let's go for face select by pressing 3 select these faces and press i to inset and e to extrude just like that that should be enough and now let's take care of the door so let's select these two faces and we'll just extrude them inside now because we have this little offset here but i want to use a special function let's press alt e and choose extrude manifold and just push this inside and now we can just select this face on the bottom and delete and we have clean geometry here that wouldn't be possible without the extrude manifold and now let's create some window and door frame so first of all i will select these two faces by holding shift and press shift d right click to release and p enter to separate now tab out and let's select these new planes right here tab into the edit mode press a and choose inset by pressing i let's hold shift for smaller increments and let's do a small inset press x and delete the inside faces now we can just select all by pressing a and extrude like this and we have some easy window frames now let's tab out let's select the building again and we'll go for the door so as you guessed we'll just duplicate this and separate into a new geometry now just select select all and we'll do an inset again here but right here i want to bevel this so let's go for edge select by pressing 2 alt click this loop right here so it goes through and now let's press ctrl b to create a bevel right here and now we can just go for a face select by pressing 3 select these two faces press x and delete now press a to select all and extrude and there's your easy door just like that now tap out and we'll create the railing that will be easy thing to do using the curves so let's select the railing tab into the edit mode and first of all let's press ctrl r and create a loop cut right here and immediately after we create it let's just press p and enter to separate that into a new object and now we can press ctrl r and create few cuts right here increase the number of cuts with the mouse wheel and let's do the same on the other side just like this and now let's hold ctrl alt and click this loop right here that will select these diagonal edges and now let's hold shift additionally so it's shift ctrl alt and select these as well and again we'll press p and enter to separate this now we can tab out and let's select the original railing object press x and delete we don't need it anymore and basically this is what we have so now let's select one of them right click and choose convert to curve and in the curve settings let's just find geometry section and in the bevel section increase the depth value to something like this and now let's select these vertical ones and do the same thing so right click convert to curve and increase the bevel depth but not so much so they go through just like this now we can make some small adjustments so for example here we can still select these control points press g then y and move them outside a little bit so they are not connected so exactly now we can tab out and additionally choose to fill caps that will close the curve for us and now let's select these let's go for a side view by pressing 3 on an ampet and let's go into the edit mode and be sure to enable x-ray view so we can select all of these control points let's now select them all press g then z move them down and now press e then z to extrude on z-axis and alt s to increase the radius of the curve just like this and now e then z again and alt s once more to make this radius smaller and just like that we have some simple you know railing and now we can fill caps for these as well and let's turn off the x-ray view so that's about the railing and now let's create some decoration on the building so first of all let's create a coffee cup so let's select for example this object right here go for face select select this face hold shift s and snap cursor to select it that's just the move the cursor there and now we can tab out and let's press shift a and we'll choose mesh and circle now let's switch the circle to 12 vertices tab into the edit mode scale this down and press f to fill now press e to extrude just like this and s to scale this up now let's select all let's look from the top and i want to rotate this a little bit so let's press r and 15 degrees so we have this flat side along x-axis and now we can additionally press ctrl r create two loop cuts right click to release and then press s then shift z to lock the z-axis and 
scale it like that and additionally we can just scale the bottom one if you want just like this now let's go for face select select the top one press x and delete faces now let's select this one here press shift d and p to separate the selection now tab out and select the new object we can tab in and let's select the edge on the side so two for edge select and press g twice to scale it down this is where you know the coffee cup handle will begin and now we can just delete this one press x and delete vertices press a to select all and let's look from the front by pressing one and additionally we can switch to the wireframe mode by holding z and switching to wireframe and we can now press e to extrude something like this here and i'm just pressing e to make these extrusions and here we can go inside here we can only touch you know the cup just like this and now we can press a to select all s then y and make it a little bit more narrow like this now hold z and switch back to the solid view and we'll add few modifiers to make this look nice so tab out and let's go for modifiers panel and let's select solidify modifier and increase the thickness to something really strong like this and now just press ctrl 2 here to enable subdivision surface modifier you can easily just add it from the list but ctrl 2 shortcut is easier now let's select the cup and here we can just hold shift select this one here and press ctrl l and copy modifiers right here and they will transfer all of these modifiers for us so now with the subdivision surface you can see um, this is not matching perfectly so let's go for a front view and let's enable that x-ray view go into the edit mode and we can just move it closer like this and additionally you can just move things around to make it you know more smooth and rounded however you want just like that now let's select both of these right click and shade smooth and we have some nice smooth cup and i will select the handle hold shift select the cup and press ctrl p and parent to object um, that way when we scale this up we are scaling the whole thing and that's exactly what i want and now one more thing i want to do is to create a text here um, with the name coffee so for example let's shift and right click here to move the cursor let's press shift a and we'll add a text object right here and press r then x and 90 enter to rotate 90 degrees and tap into the edit mode to enable text editing and just delete this and type c with shift so it's a large c now tap out and in the text properties here we'll switch the horizontal alignment to center and vertical as well and now we'll create an object that will wrap around this so let's press shift a and we'll add a plane now press r then x and 90 let's confirm tap into the edit mode and scale this down and we can look from the front and enable x-ray view again so we can see how we are you know wrapping the c leather and i think this is quite okay so let's do it like this and let's extrude outside now let's go for face select select the front face press i to inset and e to extrude inside like this and now we can tab out let's toggle the x-ray again and we can grab the c and in the geometry section let's increase the extrusion for the letter and press g then y and move it inside until it touches um the box there and now hold shift select the box press ctrl p and parent to object so now if you select the box you can just easily move it up by pressing g then z and g then y to move it towards the front let's look from the front make sure you have both of these objects selected even though they are parented and let's press alt d then x and move it like this and now repeatedly we'll press shift r to repeat that last operation until we have six of them and now we'll just select them and since they are parented they will move as they should and we can scale the whole thing down by using s and then place it down here and this is exactly what i want but now we can't edit these text objects separately because we duplicated them with alt d that means they are linked so if you edit one you are editing all of them so we'll just select the rest of these and go object relations make single user and object and data they will basically unlink them again so now we can edit them one by one and let's enter coffee 
so I will edit some of these. For example, you could link back again for the letters that are repeated, but I don't want to deal with that right now. Let's just manually rewrite them one by one. And yeah, basically that's our little coffee shop right here. And additionally, we can just go for a front view and select every object right here. Make sure you are not selecting this, so you can additionally hold control and choose the object you want to deselect. And now make sure this one is selected as well and hold shift and click the building as last. So it's highlighted in yellow and press control P and choose parent to object and keep transformation. And now we can parent these as well, just like that, press control P and parent object. So now we are able to scale this building with all of these objects at once because it was a little bit too large for my taste. So something like this looks much better in my opinion. And now shift right click here and we'll create a simple lamp. So press shift A and we'll add a circle and let's increase the vertices to 24. And now tap into the edit mode, press S to scale down. And now let's press F to fill and E to extrude. I for inset and E to extrude again. S to scale, I to inset. There are a lot of these commands that we need to just repeat over and over. But I like to comment on them anyway, so you have a better understanding of what I'm doing right here. And now let's extrude this once again, scale it up and we can extrude again. Let's press Ctrl R and create two cuts. Now S then Z to scale them on the Z axis. And let's now Alt click this loop right here. Press Alt E and extrude along normals. And we'll do the same down here. And additionally, we can inset this and push up just like that. Now toggle the X-ray. Let's look from the front and I will select all of these and scale on the X and Y axis. So by pressing Shift Z after S, we are able to do just that. Now tab out and additionally, we can just select all of this, push it up a little bit more and now tab out and scale the whole thing down a little bit. So it has a little bit better proportions just like this. Okay, so that's about modeling. Now let's add some bevel modifiers to make this look nicer. Of course, not every object will receive the bevel modifier. So let's select these letters, for example, by holding shift and press H to hide. Same applies for the railing and the cup, since that's already a smooth object, but everything else here can have a bevel modifier and will have. So let's select, for example, one of these boxes. And now in the modifiers panel, let's add the bevel modifier. Let's increase the number of segments to two and let's reduce the amount to something really subtle, something like that. And now in the geometry section, let's switch these miters to arc. You will see what it does here in the corner. And now let's go for shading and enable harden normals. You will see this warning here, but don't worry about that. Now press A to select all this state highlighted in yellow. That means it's active. So we can now easily just transfer to other selected objects and we now have the same bevel modifier on every object. We can now just right click and shade auto smooth and increase to 180 degrees. So the warning will be gone when we enabled auto smooth. So now everything is nice and smooth. We have this nice, you know, beveled edges and it all looks a little bit more sophisticated. Now, I really like this lamp as well, but here I want to make it more smooth at the bottom. So tap into the edit mode go for edge select by pressing 2, alt click the loop and press ctrl B to create the bevel like this. Now we can press alt H to unhide everything and basically that's it for the modeling. So we can now hold shift S and reset the cursor to world origin. Let's press shift A and we'll add a plane. Tap into the edit mode and scale it down that will create the background for us. And now I will expand the side panel with N choose the PR isocam add-on. If you don't have it, you can find a link in the description. It's just an easy thing that will add an isometric camera for you. So you don't need to set up all the angles. And now I will add true isocam. That's four to three ratio isocam. And now let's change the orthographic scale to something like 16. And let's change the resolution in the output tab to something like 600 to 1200. Press G then Z and move the camera up since it was already selected. And now in the render settings, let's go and enable ambient occlusion, bloom and screen space reflections for EV. That's just for the preview purposes, but for the render purposes, I will choose cycles, enable GPU and sound denoising right here and reduce the samples to something like 512. 
and now we are ready for our render preview but we are missing some materials and lights here so let's hold z and switch to material preview and let's now select the background and we'll create the first material that will be for the background and i'm interested in something like a blue dark blue background like this and now we can select the bottom plane here and set some background color something dark like that and now something you know gray um or light bluish gray for the sidewalk here and you know for the concrete or rather i would select the material here and here let's create a new one so i will remove that and create a darker material like that now let's select the building and we'll create like a cream color here and i really want to have like a wooden frames here so let's find some really stylized wooden color almost like a yellow like this and we can add some emission so it looks like it's you know so it looks like there is light coming through the windows so select the building tab into the edit mode and we can just go for face select by pressing 3 and with holding shift select all of these faces add a new material slot create a new material and click assign that will assign the new material there we can now tab out and just change the properties of the material so let's switch the principle to emission let's set something strong like 15 and let's switch the color to something warmer like this and now we can select these boxes right here and give them same black color right there and wooden letters for example so we'll need to select all of them by holding shift and select the last one press ctrl l and link only materials like this that will transfer them and now select the cup we'll create a new material and i will reduce the roughness here so it's a little bit more glossy so something like 0.1 and for the handle as well and now let's select this let's create the new material there i will leave with white and let's select this part here and add that black color and yeah basically that's almost there now select the railing create a new material and let's increase the metallic all the way to one and for the color i want something like a brass and we forgot to shade this smooth so hold shift to select both of those right click and shade smooth and now we'll select the same material here as well so we have a nice metallic railing and now i will add the same material to the lamppost maybe this is too bright almost like a golden so let's make it a little bit darker something like this now tab into the edit mode alt click this loop around and we'll create a new material slot select the emission light and click assign so we have some light on the lamp as well and now to make this look a little bit more sophisticated we can select the building tab into the edit mode and alt click this loop all around and now i will just hold shift and deselect these parts right here press shift d to duplicate p to separate and now let's select the new object tab into the edit mode and as you guessed it i will just extrude this by pressing alt e and extrude along normals like this and tab out remove the materials and add a black one so that's for some simple materials and now let's take care of the lighting so i want this to be a night light so let's press shift a and let's add an area light press g then z and move it up and make this slightly larger like this and now let's hold period on a keyboard and switch pivot point to 3d cursor you can do that here as well press r then x and 45 minus to rotate this minus 45 degrees and now r then z 45 to rotate 45 on the z axis so now if you go to the camera it's directly opposite to the camera and we can enter something really strong like 1500 now if you go here and enable scene lights and scene world you will actually see what your scene looks like in ev and if you want to see your render preview in cycles just press ctrl b to limit the view just for the camera bounce so you don't need to render everything else hold z and switch to render and this is your cycles preview but these shadows are a little bit too dark so let's go to the world settings and increase the world brightness and additionally we can give it some color to make this blend a little bit nicer together and additionally we'll create some more lights so for example i want some more shine from the lamp there but i don't want to ramp up the emission too much so shift right click here press shift a and we'll create the point light and let's add some stronger value to that and let's make it warmer so it blends and now we have more of that writing you know um illuminated 
And now additionally, we can just select the background, make it a little bit more darker and increase the roughness like this. And I will reduce the saturation as well. And I will reset the cursor once again, press shift A and add another area light. Press G then Z, move it up somewhere here and make it really larger. And now I'll press G then shift Z to move it to the side. So we have something like this. And now I want to make this really strong, something like 3000. So there will be a lot of light coming from there, but not at a direct angle. So we'll get this nice soft fall of light from the area light. And we can make this even warmer if you want something like this. And to create the contrast to that, I want to backlight, you know, the building a little bit. So let's go for a top view, shift right click here, press shift A and we'll add a point light. And this one will need to be really strong, something like 5000 to really create a strong reflection there on the background. But now if you look from the camera, you just have some nice, you know, backlight and we can additionally add some color like this to make this look more interesting, more stylized. And now in the render settings, let's scroll down in the color management and we can choose the medium high contrast and play with the exposure. And basically that's your materials and lighting. And now the rest is just playing, you know, with the roughness values, with the color values for the background and for the rest of the scene until you have something you are satisfied with. But basically this is it for today's illustration tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed this one. And if you did, please, again, don't forget to leave that like. And if you're new around here, please hit that subscribe. Thank you all for watching and have a wonderful day. Go!